People on both sides of the issue are gathering to speak out. Tom? And Joanne and Dave, we are standing with two of the people on both sides of this issue. We're with John Witz, who represents the Arts, Beats, and Eats Festival. You're the president, correct? Yeah, producer, yes. Okay, and we're also with a gun rights advocate here who uh, believes that he should be able to bring a weapon with him to the uh, event. Right now, that is banned. Why don't we start with you, sure. and we can talk about very basic issue. Why should guns not be allowed at Arts, Beats, and Eats? Well, it's been a policy of ours from the beginning. Uh, I think uh, issue one, large crowds, a lot of people in one place uh, bumping into each other, close proximity uh, to uh, liquor served in many, many locations throughout the event, so judgment can be impaired or people can uh, consume alcohol. And, and three, you know, there's just a lot of kids and, you know, families around. And, and I'd say four, too. The festival has a track record of safety, you know, for 12 years, and actually, there's actually more law enforcement that'll be in that place. So from a safety comfort level, we have a security and police officers on every corner of the event, so it's a pretty safe environment. Very good. And Scott Webb here, why don't you tell me why you think that there should be guns allowed there? Um, I think it's an individual decision, and I think those that carry a, you know, a gun for protection, whether it's openly like I do or concealed, should have that choice. It's a right that's guaranteed by law. And, you know, when you know John mentioned the amount of police that are going to be there, the amount of police are brought in specifically because they know in large events like this with large crowds of people, there's more likely that something's going to happen. There's already hundreds of thousands of people in Michigan that carry a gun every day for protection. They have access to bars. They're around their families and the, ch and the children out in parks. They're already out there, and we've proven that we are a safe segment of society, and actually we're, in fact, one of the safest. Okay, so both sides agree, though, that this is certainly very controversial, and we really appreciate you being with us. We have to wrap it up right there, but we'll be hearing more, I guess, tonight at the meeting. I'm going to add one thing, is that he's, our, our event, he said that when there are large people, there are problems. We haven't had an issue of violence in 12 years, not one with a, a weapon of any kind, so I will at least close with that one. Thank you very much. We will have more from both sides tonight at 11 after the meeting here at the City Hall in Royal Oak. Reporting live, back to you guys in the studio. All right, Tom.